Uh, he's choking! I'm the poor boy! No, let him choke. No, 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 no! <laughs> what did the mailman say to the dog that could talk? What? Hey, I think I got some mail stuck on the... Woof. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay. And we are getting into Season 4, Episode 2 of Game of Thrones, The Lion and the Rose. The Witch in the Wardrobe. Do you get the name? Ah, the lion and the rose. Anyways, if you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already and help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Goal. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this, you can check that out on Patreon as well as our full-length reaction to the next four episodes. So with that being said, before we get into it, Zay, what do you remember from the previous episode? We got to check in on currently my favorite duo. I hate saying that because when I say favorite, it usually just results in a death, at least from what <laughs> I've seen. But we got to check in on Arya and the Hound. Um, Arya got Needle back and she made a, <laughs> she taunted <laughs> the man, based, not taunted, but basically let him know like who she was by reiterating the words he said before he killed Lumi. Showed a direct contrast between the first time she killed the boy um, at King's Landing while escaping versus this now. It's like a totally different person, clearly. Tyrion's got a lot on his plate. Shay is basically, uh, she's kind of at her end with dealing with like not being able to, you know, be emotional and, you know, intimate with Tyrion and playing just the handmaiden role for Sansa. And I'm just going to kind of, it's kind of all ties in together. Oberyn caused problems at the brothel, which is another Tyrion headache because he's kind of, even though he's the master of coin, he's kind of playing diplomat right now one of cersei's maids uh overheard the argument between shay and Tyrion, and immediately went to cersei's chambers and said you told me to come if i ever heard something important so yeah that's hair that's a sticky situation for him tywin um actually took rob's sword reforged it into two valyrian steel swords uh it was abnormally large so it was able to be formed into two he gave one to jamie jamie got a new hand and jamie also said he's not going back to casterly rock as Tywin wished, he's gonna stay here. He's a king's guard. You know, he already said, "I'm a king. people call me Oathbreaker, King Slayer." Da da da. I'm not breaking another vow. Even you got to see Danny. Yeah, Danny with her, um, getting they're relatively large now. Dragons, com especially compared to the start, got an interesting one. The Alpha that seems to be forming, the black one, uh, kind of snapped at her over the food. Over the it was like a lamb or something that they were they were eating. So interesting to see that happen because considering she's like the mother of dragons it's like a child that's kind of going through adolescent phase and she's on her way to marine where there's 163 miles at every mile marker there is a body that's pointing in the direction to go and they're a slave she's not happy and she said i want to see all their faces you will not bury technically them before. 164 miles technically 164 mile yeah because the one she, she saw 63 left yeah. left this kid's semantics um but she said i'm they just offered, trying to prevent a comment they offer yeah no <laughs> they offered uh <laughs> her men offered to go ahead and bury them before she gets to see them she's refused and said that i want to see all their faces so do we get to see danny end up in marine uh i mean do we get to see cersei confront Tyrion about shay i mean there's a lot that could happen you know um oh and aria uh they're heading to the Vale, right? For yep. Lisa. Yep. yep. And so Ari and the Hound are heading to the Vale. So, so we'll see. Yep. We'll have to see what happens. This is a quick little recap. Don't want to get into everything, but we will see you guys in the reaction, which for you will be an instant. And for us will be a little longer than an instant. Maybe a couple minutes, maybe a couple seconds. Who knows? Let's get into it right now. <laughs> What a piece of shit. 
A little unfair, he's got dogs. Can you, you imagine how terrified you would be if you saw them coming at you? Right? Yeah! Well done. Me too. I only wrote a huh? book that kind of had this type of thing. Fine shot. Huh? Wasn't it, Reed? There's a Fine book shot, I've read Lady that, uh, <laughs> it was like, oh. these prisoners went to an island ruled by rich people and they'd hunt them, but if they escaped, uh, yeah. Looks so pretty now. Oh, that fucking gargle, that sound. Bro, he is... He is a psychopath. Fuck what we said about Arya. He is a psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Arya just has vengeance. Old warrior you are attacking a man when his guard's down. First time to attack a man. I still have my right hand. Plan on growing it back. <laughs> yeah. He can't, bro. His wit is funny. Okay. A little dangerous bump. Come on, then. That's a cool place to train. Very cool. By that, and right that was a cool the shot too. With like, waves. The, yeah, very cool. Do you know where they filmed Game of Thrones? Uh, no, I actually okay. don't. I'm not sure. Would be interesting to know if you, whenever you can look it up. I'd like to know. It'd be interesting to know. What did you do to him? I trained him. He was a slow learner, but he learned. You flayed him. Peeled a few bits. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton. You're a Snow. <laughs> Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. Lord Greyjoy refused. Some terms to Balin Greyjoy without my consent. You made me acting Lord of the Dreadfort. I acted. Theon was our enemy. Reek will never betray us. I place far too much trust in you. Wow. So, this relationship was probably what I pictured, honestly. I felt like he was doing How could he let me stand before my father unshaven? It's disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. But does his father succumb to being like, okay? Go on, Reef. A nice, close shave. It shows how... I guess the, you could uh, say... He's like tortured. domesticated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's literally... Not only is he doing what he's saying, he's literally... Right next to his torture, he could slit his throat right now. Where are right. Bran and Rickon Stark? And he's he's pleaded to die. He said, "I'd rather die." And display their corpses at Winterfell. So he has no problem dying if he, that means he has, gets to kill Ramsay, but he's still not doing it. Oh right. my lord! Just two farm boys, and crisp them so no one would know. Find those boys, and I'll give you a thousand acres and a hole first. Your pet rat have any thoughts on which way they went after Winterfell? Jon Snow's at Castle Black. You want to prove yourself a Bolton? Gather whatever men you can and ride for Moat Kaelin. Why? Take the moat for the family. For our family. What now he's done to Theon. Position. Theon is mm. so conditioned now. Like, Dude, what would you do? Like, at that he point... He is so afraid. Look, he is fine with dying, but he is so afraid at even attempting to kill Ramsay because... I mean, as logical as it would be that he could do it right then and there, the consequence of messing up or possibly getting tortured Torture again, is far worse than death with what they could do. They could peel your fingernail. Dude, like, there's a million he's fucking he's, things. He's, yeah, he's, like, unbelievably conditioned at this point. Shall I call you father? I should be honored, Your Grace. What a boring wedding. Where's the DJ? <laughs> Play. He's the whore I told you about. Play. The dark head. Oh. I've brought oh, you to the tower bitch. of before the wedding. Yeah, this isn't the wedding. Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. Wow. A non-aggressive answer from Joffrey. A little ship egg. Still don't like him, but okay. I can get behind a non aggressive Joffrey. I have only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. You did not give this to him. Are you serious? 
I was hoping Tywin kept it. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh, careful, Your Grace. <laughs> Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. Everyone's like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes Tyrion's gift. Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Buddy, you didn't do that, though. Literally didn't do it. I hope Sansa stabs you in your sleep and cuts your dick off while you're bleeding out. <laughs> Guys, we already knew the hatred I have for Joffrey. You see, it's just building. I don't like him. <laughs> Although props to him for acting. I feel bad. Didn't you say he got hate? Like that? Yeah, but acting? apparently it wasn't as bad as I thought, oh. according to one of our comments. Here's my thing. Props to him for getting that much. That means you were a good actor. For people to be like, I don't like you because of that. Oh, acting, yeah. That's like, he emotionally makes me mad. <laughs> like, should I call you? I'm afraid our friendship can't continue. Oof. There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. <laughs> That's friend zoned? Modern in dead times? What is this? Married man. My wife has suffered a great deal, as you well know. I don't want her to suffer any more on my account. I need to uphold my vows. You are afraid of your father and your sister. You're going to run from I them all you your life. We'll fight them together. It's like you said. I am yours and you're mine. You're a whore. <laughs> can't be in love with a whore. I can't have children with a whore. How many men have you been with? 500, 5,000? What a genius, but what a traumatizing thing to have to say. I've enjoyed my time with all of them, and I have enjoyed my time with you most of all. But now that time is over. Ugh. I get it. I get what he's doing. But Jesus, that's like so hard, bro. That's so tough on her and on him. Oh, yeah. I don't want to see her cry. I hate seeing girls cry. Like, ugh, bugs the shit up. Please! You're the stars. You're my sister. You're the stars that guide us. Light protect us. The night is dark and full of. She didn't even give a fuck. Hey, do you want to serve Stannis? Isn't he out here burning people? <laughs> it's like I'm good. Don't want to serve him? Not quite. <laughs> nah, you got it. <laughs> With themselves, our Lord took oh. them to Jesus. God, dude. Stannis, here's my thing. Is it Stannis? By law. To me. He's an infidel. He almost looks like when he when he saw that, he almost looked like, I don't believe in this shit, but it's whatever's gonna get her to help me win. It's like the vibe. Well, we I got. know from what we've seen, he's pretty convinced that it works. But it, it he works. does look he looks kind of it does, disgusted it, it, by it. He knows still. that the shit works. It just doesn't mean that he's messing like a hundred percent for it, like she is. He's just kind of like, this is it, it means to an end for me. Right? Is like you know, oh, working. Oh man, I think I think we're getting to see warg action. From good old Bran. <laughs> Imagine him waking up by a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> I was just eating. Summer was eating. Yeah, I was gonna say you weren't really eating. Wolf consumes. Spending too much time in summer skin is dangerous. His wolf's name is Summer? Yeah. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. You'd forget you. You know, if he had got a habit of kept doing this, some people might say brand flakes. <laughs> I'm not gonna and laugh. You know what these guys are doing right now, right? I'm not gonna laugh. They're raisin brand. <laughs> Hmm. Mm, you make it hard. <laughs> you make it hard. Look for me beneath 
just happened there a lot bro how do you even explain that to your boy <laughs> what did you see <laughs> where do we start that's so brand <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i hate you <laughs> look at it as it as it cloaks her I think she looks good, but honestly, I don't know how I feel about somebody's hair being the same size as their head. Cursed be he who would seek to tear them asunder. I'd tear them asunder, to be honest. I pledge my love. Ugh. Guys, also, I don't dislike the actor, I just dislike the character. Actor's great. I'll say it again and again. Joffrey's actor, great. However, fuck Joffrey. <laughs> she's on it. And you saw the ship sail away. No one knows she's there but you, me, and Varys. Someone follows me without an invitation. I'm the last person they ever follow. She's gone. Go drink until it feels like you did the right thing. Dude, he's like so he's so funny and like such a dope character. Someone followed you. Listen, we don't gotta talk semantics. <laughs> Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> How sorry I was to hear about your brother. War is war, but killing a man at a wedding. What sort of monster would do such a thing? Very good, very good. Off you go. What a cum guzzler. Literally a fucking prick, bro. We are so fortunate to enjoy this marvelous food and drink. To thank the gods for bringing the recent war to a just end, King Joffrey has decreed that the leftover be given to the poorest in his city. Oh, that's so nice of him. That's so nice of you. I'm mean, him. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice of you, him. Him. If you were awkward, Mary says she'd murder you in your sleep. She put a child in her first. She'd murder him too. None of this will happen because you'll never marry her. <laughs> I'm not really. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Sir. Yeah, yeah, eat that one, Jamie. <laughs> I owe you my gratitude. You returned my brother safely to King's Landing. In truth, he rescued me, Your Grace. More than once. Did he? Oh. <laughs> sworn to Renly Baratheon, sworn to Catelyn Stark, and now my brother. <laughs> Must be exciting to flit from one camp to the next. I don't serve your brother, Your Grace. But you love him. Say no. Oh, you dumb hoe. Your Grace. Jamie's like, the fuck just happened over there? <laughs> Here's my thing, bro. Like, I've seen situations like this all the time. She'll do no such thing. Oh, your grace. Uh, uh, yes, well, this young lady sought my... <laughs> all right, fucking perv. <laughs> 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 fucking gramps, bro. <laughs> Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. The queen they would is telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Damn. But that looks bad on Joffrey. Is be in, bro. I'm confused on what the. I fuck think she just didn't want Marjorie to look good, either. I guess you're mad that Brian, Brian didn't, bro. Brian, if I was Brian, I'd be like, I love your brother. No, I'm a no. King Joffrey, oh! Renly, Stannis, Rob Stark. The War of the Five Kings. You see how Stannis is riding the red woman? <laughs> That's fucked up. Who's got the red now, Stark? I am the rightful king. Challenge me, Kraken! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! That's a wildfire! 
no one seems happy except for Cersei and Fang. I'll have to find another way to thank the king. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of distaste going on right now. It's it's like so awkward because it's you have like three people that are happy and laughing about well, one laughing two like mm -hmm, and then everyone else is like like the main heads of like the table are like looking at them like you'd bear it when he's not a head of the table. I hear what you're saying. I think you should fight him. Climb down from the high table with your new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. Be a tragedy for the king to lose his virtue hours before his wedding night. <laughs> Yo, Tyrion is a fucking <laughs> G, bro. Damn. My love, come back to me. It's time for my father's toast. So awkward. Uncle, you can be my cup there. Your grace does me a great honor. It's not meant as an honor. <laughs> Dude, the awkwardness is fucking crazy. Because it just doesn't feel like anyone... Like, there was no one laughing at that shit. Like, they, he did it and everyone's like, uh, like... Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Cersei's the only one that has a fucking grin in her face. What good is an empty cup? Fill it. Tywin also looks displeased. The shit's... I'm anxious because... Dude, everybody's like, just watching with silence. It, I'm anxious because of this fucking awkwardness that's occurring. Kneel before your king. Kneel. Don't do it. Well, I mean, you kind of have to, but, like, don't do it. Look, the pie! <laughs> Dude, that tension, bro. Everybody was waiting for it to break. But I like that. I like that, though. Tyrion didn't didn't break. <laughs> you guys put pigeons or doves inside of a pie? Uncle! Where are you going? In my cup there, remember? Tell me my one. Again, instant awkwardness. Mm, good. If it please your grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. <coughs> I'm... Your grace. <coughs> 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 <laughs> He's choking. I'm the poor boy. No, let him choke. No, 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 no. Uh, Joffrey. Joffrey. <laughs> Doesn't look good for Joffrey. <laughs> I mean that that's a brutal looking fucking choking ass though Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think he just choked on his wine there. Not like nightshade and shit. <sighs> Looks dead to me. Satisfying. Sorry. Uh, some people you might have been emotional. If you liked Joffrey, though, you might have a few issues. Um, anyways, that's crazy. So Look who at that poisoned, face. Who poisoned him? He did it. He... My son. Your king. He didn't. Take him! Take him! She should be next. He is, like, livid. Jesus. That's a crazy shot.
Look at that smug smirk on your face right now. I can't. <laughs> you ever just get something so satisfying to occur? <laughs> There's only one other person on my hit list right now. Who's that? And his mother. <laughs> 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 that was... All right, that was Game of Thrones season four, episode two. If you guys liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already, and help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Goal: you get that bell notification to be notified the next time we upload a new video. You can also mm -hmm. check our full length reaction to this and the next four episodes on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description. And with that being said, Isaiah, what are your thoughts on this episode? He's dead. He sure is looks dead. like it. He, if he survives that, <laughs> he's and he's a White Walker or something. I don't know what the fuck. Um, I didn't expect him to go out like that. My first question is: Okay, so Sansa gets met by the man that followed her, Lord Danos. I believe his name is Sir Danos. Well, why don't you ponder that for a second, and we'll get we'll get into that. Uh, towards the well, end why don't we do you want us to get into the q a it was a dope episode but yeah. let's why don't we just hop into the q a yeah let's get into the q a and then at the very end we'll get your thoughts on that whole situation because that was big right there which is yeah happened. there's a lot to discuss there um so basically we start off with uh um ramsey uh <coughs> yeah. hunting down one of his uh lady servants and sh with the dogs and she gets killed and fed to the dogs and Ramsey, we could see Ramsey's relationship with his father, Roos, and mm -hmm. uh, now he's heading out of, I think they're at Winterfell right now. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, where they are. What are your thoughts on that whole situation and where things might be going forward and his relationship with his father? So Ramsey is a lot more, he's more calculated and he's more intelligent than I thought he was. I thought he was just like someone that was like kind of like, you know, maybe a spiteful torturer that was like fuck it like i'll mutilate this i'll mutilate this dude whatever he's far more calculated because he did he did a lot to to theon but he also was smart enough to realize how to play his hand with his father because his father was basically saying like you flayed this man like whatever like this is my banner like basically felt like i shouldn't have trusted you to do this shit i shouldn't have left whatever but then you know he kind of showed how one loyal theon was and then even made theon admit to the fact that he didn't kill the Stark boys. He didn't kill um, Bran and uh, uh, Rickon. So it kind of made his father be like, okay, you want to prove yourself? Why don't you go do this for me? It's an interesting relationship. Uh, at first I was like, so they just don't like each other. It seems like they, they're not, it seems like his father's not a huge fan of Ramsey, but it seems like, you know, if Ramsey can provide good for what they need to get done um, as a Bolton, then he'll kind of like deal with it. What's He's your thoughts on, on, no, okay. I was just gonna say he's clearly insane. Like he, like he hunted down his own like with dogs and shit. Like literally, you're you're at such a disadvantage. And says if you make it out the woods, you live. But like my thing is like if she makes out the woods and then you catch her outside the woods, are you really gonna let her live? Like probably not. Like you're fucking insane. What are your thoughts on Theon's condition where he's at right now? That is um classic. Just you know, prisoner mentality. Just like you know, it's 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 a servant. It's to the point where it's like uh it's a you're a slave you know you start off with like i i'm not gonna tell you anything i think okay. he's more than just a slave i think he's he's a psychologically he's conditioned broken. he's completely broken he's like yeah it's like pavlovian fucking conditioning where it's like you get <laughs> every time you do the wrong thing you get zapped it's like okay well fuck it like i'll do so he's reached a point where it's like the torture isn't worth unless he's going to die. It, the torture isn't worth it. Like he, I mean, he even said it in the one episode. He said, just kill me. And he, Rams is like, no, <laughs> well, you see you to me dead. And it's like, right. okay, well, if I'm no use to you dead and all you're going to do is torture me, if I disobey you, then I'll be like a dog. I will be whatever you need me to be with hopes of hopefully making it out. I mean, I don't know what Theon's thoughts are. So you think he's going to make it out, whatever he doesn't know his sister's coming, but that is his inkling of hope from our end is that his sister's on the way. So if he plays the part long enough, maybe he escapes, but now they're leaving and the sister's still on the way. So it's going to create a weird, you know, weird yeah. dynamic. Yeah. We'll have to see. Uh, Jamie is now being trained by Braun, which uh, is something that Tyrion that. set up. 
And yeah. so what, what are your thoughts on that situation going forward? Do you think Jamie will ever be as good as he once was? Do you think he'll be capable enough? Do you think he won't ever get the hang of it and have to go about life a different way? Jamie is a is one of, if not the best skilled swordsman in the land. I will read related to sports. Now, when someone plays basketball, you have your dominant hand and your other hand. I know, guys, if you don't watch sports, whatever. Point being, LeBron James, he is a right-handed player, but he is almost as good with his left hand as he is right hand. You can argue he's not as good, but he is. He, there's a reason why he's one of the best, right? I think that Jamie will reach that point. He's not going to be as maybe great as he was with his right hand, but the margin might be so small that you wouldn't even notice it. Someone like that can can take on that skill and it can develop good to enough. the point where, yeah, they can develop to the point where it's like, I wouldn't be able to tell you what handiness he is. And that's what most like NBA professional sport players, I, it's easier to relate to sports. So that's why I'm using basketball, for example. You can't tell what handiness they are unless you kind of like know. So I think Jamie will develop it to the point where he is very skilled in his left hand and he can fight and he is going to be as good or almost as good with such a slight margin of a swordsman as he was. Tyrion sends Shay away and yeah. Shay Braun confirms it. Do you yeah. think Shay is gone? Do you think she's still around? Do you think she'll come back into the picture ever? Do you think that was our goodbye? Or what are your thoughts on that situation? <sighs> Part of me wants to say that she's not gone. I I I I can't really pinpoint why. I want to kind of watch the next episode. I hope we get to see a little bit of them. I would like to see more of Braun. He kind of like it's there was something about just like when he was explaining about her getting onto the ship and stuff like that. It's like, is he just helping her hide away and wait? But then it's like part of me also says, well, it would make most sense for her to go. Like I wouldn't be surprised if she went because. He kind of disrespected her to make her leave. Right. With good intentions, mind you. Very good intentions. Keeping her alive, which I think are as good of, as intentions as they get. Part of me wants to say that she's not gone, which will make it interesting if Tyrion, you know, ends up seeing her again. Because he'd be like, I, Bron, like, you know, Bron, you told me she left, whatever. What's the reasoning behind her staying? How did she manage to stay? Et cetera, et cetera. So... We'll see. Bran uh, has been doing a lot of warging recently, and they're like, you yes. can't stay. You know, you'll lose. Can't keep warging. You are. Well, you can warg, but you can't just keep doing it. Uh, you can't be over and over it. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like um, a, it's like a drug. It's like you keep, if you keep doing it, you could lose who you are. You won't remember self. us and all that stuff. And yeah. we had a huge. I don't know what you would call it. Sequence of events that he he had in his head. What are your thoughts on that whole situation? Do you think that all of that is in the future? Do you think all of that is in the past? Do you think all of it is metaphors? Do you think all of it is literal? What's your whole thought on, on that sequence of events you, you saw? Because obviously they put that in there for some reason. So I think it's a mix. I think it's like a little bit of history. I it's I think it was kind of like a little bit of like metaphoricalness and like also like future. It's tough. Those events like kind of popped like here, there, here, there. And it seemed like it kept jumping back and forth. I feel like a decent amount of it is future, but I feel like also it's going to be metaphors. And, you know, I'd be, I want to see how he explains it to them. If he does, I don't know if he does, but they didn't, he didn't really get a chance. They like, kind of like stepped up to him after he like touched a tree and stepped back. We never really got to see him explain to them like what he saw because I was expecting a. He just says he knows where to go now. Somebody right. called out to him, and now he North. knows where to they go. They said no, yeah. So, what I hope we see another example of him maybe interacting with that with a with a, one of those trees. I can't guarantee it. I mean, you know, we might never see it again. If that's the case, then you know, I'm sure someone will either inform us or we can look back at some point, kind of examine it, and figure it out, but. It doesn't, it was, it seemed a little too sporadic to, to, to kind of like nail down like, oh, this is what's happening with it. So I'd like to see another example of him running into it. And I want to know who the voice was that was calling out to him. I mean, because that also is a, uh, that could be a very big point. Like depending on who's calling out to him, that can mean a, a lot. Like, you know, I, who's telling him to go north? Why are they telling him to go north? Who is this character? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Yeah, it was a dope scene. It was really dope, but it was like 
it was so quick and you're like holy shit you're like what is <laughs> you're like you touch this tree you're like what the fuck is happening but right. we know those trees are very significant so right so we'll have to see where that goes and lastly let's get into the big uh big situation here we had a, a royal wedding between Joffrey yes. and um, uh, Marjorie. You could argue we saw Joffrey at – well, I want to know if you'd say his peak, but we saw Joffrey at a piece of shit uh, mood, as always. And of course. we saw some interactions between characters like Cersei and Brienne and Jaime and Loras. Mm -hmm. But the big main thing is Joffrey got poisoned. Yes. And they're all blaming Tyrion. At least Cersei is and says, take him, take him. Yeah, so I'm curious annoying. as to what your thoughts are on that situation. Uh, I'm, I know you're already happy about the fact that Joffrey's <laughs> dead. But so let me ask you a couple things. OK, question one. Now, answer well, these in any I, order can you I, want. Can I ask you something real quick? Because like it might okay. even allude to your questions. Where is Oberyn? During this whole thing, well, we'll get into that. We'll get into because he got invited, so, so that's my so, main thing. Is like, hmm, question okay. one: Who do you think did it? Question two: What do you think will happen to the person that did it? And question three: Who who's going to be in charge now? The king is dead. So I would, those are my three questions. Take it away. I would want to say oberon's the one that did it but like i don't think that he really had that much motivation to kill joffrey specifically i but he wanted he wanted to pay his debts and that would be an easy shot to take is to take out joffrey the current king lannister right so i'd want to say it was him i well well let me throw in another question in there so okay. who did it and then how did they do it because we saw Joffrey drink wine, we saw Joffrey so eat. That's eight. what. So that is the only part that I can't figure out. Because Tyrion was a cupbearer, he poured Joffrey wine. From what I, though, I never, we never got to really see. Like it didn't seem like the the cups got touched at any point, right? Tyrion gave him wine. He sipped it. He put it down. Someone must have people touched were, it. People were well. Look, people were drinking the wine before. We don't know if it was the wine. A lot so of was the ate, wine? Ate. Did someone did someone go by and drop something in it while no one was paying attention? Because there was a lot going on. You know, again, a lot of that of those scenes and a lot of the wedding was silence, we, focus on Joffrey talking to Tyrion, disrespecting Tyrion. We know Sansa picked up the cup at one point. She did. But she we did. also know that Joffrey's sword sliced the cake. There's a bunch of questions here. Uh, there was a dead bird in the cake. Does that have anything to do with it? But yeah. Right. Keep was going. it po did the food get poisoned? Was it because that's the thing? Is it was the wine? Was it the food? What what was it? Well, um, only Joffrey died. We also know that. Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's fair point. But did we see anyone else eat cake? I didn't really see anyone yeah. else take a yeah. We didn't okay. So then it, it must be the wine. But we saw the people speaking. drink wine. Yes, but if someone can poison, like you his said, wine, Sansa, poison his cake. and here's and here's the issue, and here's where it could be Sansa is that uh, Lord Donos, Donos, Adantos, Adantos, Sir, Sir Adantos, Sir Dantos, Sir Dantos, stepped up to where immediately said, "If you want to live, we need to leave," which would immediately make you allude to the idea that maybe it was Sansa because once again she did pick up the cup, she handed it to Tyrion, Tyrion poured the wine, you know. Not all poison has to be. But like you said, it could be Oberon. He, Oberon, he's got the motive. Oberon does have the motive, but he doesn't necessarily have it against Joffrey. Who takes in charge now? I. Uh, it, that's where it's like, do you, it does it go to Cer? Because okay, so here's here's what would be interesting. Would you make it Cersei? Because technically she'd be queen, right? But wouldn't wouldn't you technically make it Tywin then? Because he's like the father. Like I well, like when we ever see. Well, I guess you can. Well, what do we know? Well, what, what do we already know about how passing down the kingdoms work? We know that when Robert died, Stannis was the rightful heir. Mm. So, could it be Joffrey's brother, or is he too young? And do you think that that there's an age uh, limit, and they'll give it to? I like don't. Said, Tywin. A lot of. If they're do you kinda, think that? Do I don't think, think that, that there's necessarily an a, a age limit. I think it's more just like. A, I don't think there's an age limit, honestly. So it could just just go to his brother. Do you think? What about Marjorie? Do you think Marjorie, since she's now the queen, she has? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if it'll, I don't think it'll go to her because it seems like it passes down the 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 king. It's, it seems the king passes it down to his sons, and it's like because the main thing is like if you don't have a son, then where does it go next? Like, what happens? Uh, 
I'm not saying this does or doesn't happen, but what happens possibly if Marjorie is pregnant with Joffrey's kid? Do you think that that would throw a wrench into things? I think it would because I think they would have somebody step in in the place of that child. And guys, I'm going off of like just history. Like uh, I'm big into history and stuff. And typically with stuff like that, I know this isn't going to necessarily abide by history, but if the queen was to supposed to have a child or had a child in a way, more than likely you'd have somebody step in. I you could I could see Tywin stepping in as king until the child's able to become, you know, because it's his great great grandchild, right? Great grandchild, it's just his, great grandchild, it's just great grand, his great grandchild. Yeah, great grandchild. So um, I could see that happening. I mean, I don't know exactly. We haven't I we haven't really ran into the situation with like lore and shit yet. I feel like. I, I think uh, I think his brother's gonna take over though, maybe in the meantime, but that creates a problem because somebody could like if you're king and you're like, okay, I know that I know that there's someone on the way to take my spot, you might plot to get them killed because you're like, I don't want them to take it. I want to be king, you know. So we'll see. Do you think Joffrey's brother might be in danger too? He could even be yeah, yeah. Do you think anybody do you think the next person that who does take the seat? Uh, do you think they will be in danger as well? Or do you think that they might be have been in on it? I don't think anyone's ever out of danger in this show. I think that even if you were in on it with with uh, a lot of people, there's still people that want to take you out. So it doesn't matter to me whether or not they could have most of the family on their side. And they could have plotted it with half of the family or this side of the family. I don't think that they're ever safe. I think that at that point, it's... You're constantly, no matter what, whenever you step up into, into a position of power, it seems like you're creating enemies because those enemies wanted that position or they had plans for said position. So to me, it doesn't matter if somebody plotted this with, you know, you know, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll have to find out. Any, any closing thoughts on the episode? Very dope episode. I'm excited to get into the next one. And the lion and the rose was clearly yeah, very, Marjorie yeah. and Joffrey. Yeah, um, yeah, With that yeah. being said, if you guys liked Detroit, anything like down below, subscribe to stay tuned for more. Hit that bell notification button to be notified the next time we upload a new video. If you want to watch our full-length reaction to this, you can check it out on Patreon as well as the full-length reaction to the next four episodes. Also, Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, I do. If you want to follow me out on Twitch, it's down in the description below. Defied Zay. I stream Sunday through Friday. Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays are going to be with Cam. Uh, come tune in. Come say hi. Hop in the chat. No spoilers. And uh, I will also be having a YouTube channel up probably by now. With that being said, I know Cam also has a Twitch. Yep, you can check it out. Link in the description. I'm just your average Cam. I'm playing uh, games like Elden Ring. So if you're interested, you can hop on over. But with that being said, thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next one. And peace. peace.